Fire is normal, natural, and necessary in order to maintain a swamp. Otherwise, the process of biologic succession would continue until the swamp was completely filled with peat and eventually a forest. But because the good Lord saw fit to have our weather such that we, we are influenced by two great big factors. One is the Gulf of Mexico, which is to our west. And the other is the Bermuda, the Bermuda High that exists out offshore a couple of hundred miles. Uh, but it has a tremendous effect on the weather of South Georgia and Northeast Florida. It's such that we have uh, at least 80 or 90 electrical storms annually. And, and electrical storms, of course, are when build up a tremendous amount of energy in the sky. And when, the, when it reaches its carrying capacity, it fires off from the cloud to the ground, and we call them a strike. And it obviously is. And it happens in the swamp annually. Every year we have some strikes. Not all strikes develop into a fire. Most of them burn out maybe 10, 20 acres, and they burn off into the water, and they go away. They go out. But occasionally, uh, occasionally about our weather used to be the type that every 20 or 30 years we'd have a fire. Today, we have four fires in one year. Our, our climate is changing and consequently our, our weather, weather changes and that promotes more lightning strikes. So sometimes it occurs over our swamp. This is a color photograph or a color picture of the swamp, uh, one of the ones that was the most damaging was this one, the Sweat Farm Road Riot Fire. It actually started in three different places. Sweat Farm Road Riot Fire on April 16th, the Big Turnaround Fire on April 21st, and the uh, uh, Bugaboo Scrub Fire, Bugaboo Scrub. Uh, started on May the 1st. And then on May the 20th, on May 20, all three of those fires burned together and created the monster of 07. Uh, this, is, this one burned over 600,000 acres. So it didn't just stay in the swamp. There's only about 400,000 acres of swamp. So it burned also lots of private holdings outside the swamp and private property, and it also burned down into Florida. So it was the largest fire in America at one time. Um, private property, when private property burns, that means people who planted those trees 20, 30, 40 years ago had great plans for retirement, maybe a boat, <laughs> maybe the education of their children in college. So that really impacted life in, in all of the southern Georgia communities around it. Uh, some of them were recoverable. The, the government did help some of them. I don't know how much. Uh, uh, it has a very minimal effect on the wildlife. We only found five animals. We only found five animals. Some were birds, a couple of turtles, one fox. Uh, no alligators were found because alligators are smart. They, 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 have a, they have a sense about the impending doom. When the water level drops, they head for the new water somewhere. And gators were pretty well protected. Uh, the, the fires didn't, we didn't find any evidence of, of dead gators. Prior to this, prior to this fire, we had 93 days of drought without any rain at all. Uh, when that happens, the, all the water evaporates uh, and it just leaves the dry peat bed, which contains the seeds 
of plants that once grew there plus the seeds that had floated in and sank there. So, but one peculiar type is the hardwoods, uh, oaks, the hickories, the maples, the sycamores, uh, all of those kinds of hardwood trees can only germinate in a, in a dry peat, in dry weather. And once, once they get to germinate, and the cypress is to germinate too. The cypress germinates, but when cypress is growing, it has to keep its head above the water because it might start raining again. And if it grows slower than the water rises, then it will die because it'll drown. It has to, its growth has to be faster than the water rise to, so it can keep its head above the water. Uh, peculiarity of fire is the ashes it produced. It's very basic alkali, very basic and, and, um, and sweet. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it keeps, it raises the pH of the soil and the water that comes back, comes back in later and the water up to about five from 3.2 3 up to about 4.5 to five as a whole number. So this really changes the environment of that, that part of the swamp at that time. Our last fire here is still not, all the, all the trees are still not down yet. As we ride through them in our paddling canoes, we, we see fields and acres and acres and acres of black ashes that are now decaying some of the trees are still standing, and, and as, they, as they fall, they create a hazard, particularly if it happens to be near a boat trail. Um, but it also releases nutrients that are necessary for the next generation of plants. 